Hello and welcome to this B1 Usability Package e-learning session. Today's topic will be mandatory fields and the basic of how to use them. My name is Rasmus Wolf Jensen and I will be the presenter of this session. So let's go into business one. Okay, in order to make something mandatory within the usability package, you simply need to go to the window that has the field that you want to make mandatory. So in our case, let's try to go into a sales order. So if I wanted to make the customer reference number mandatory, mandatory meaning that if I try to add the sales order without a value in the customer reference number field, I, I should get a warning saying that it's mandatory and I cannot proceed without having a value here. This is very easy to do. You simply go to the field, you right click it and you choose the option make this field mandatory. Taking this will open a new window called the mandatory fields configuration and it has now said that for sales orders the customer reference number is mandatory. And that actually that's it. So let's try just try to add it. Okay, we have now added our configuration. So let's try to use it. So I will just enter in a customer, put in my delivery date, and add a few items. This would be the normal, uh, that would, should be enough to norm, uh, normally add a sales order. But in this case, we have made the customer reference number mandatory. So if I try to add this, you will see that it will come up with an error message saying the following fields are mandatory. So our mandatory field is now in effect. In order to go on from this, I might put in the US 1000 as a customer reference number and try to add it to the document. And it's now allowed me to do it and uh, all is well. So I can also go on and make fields mandatory on line level. So for example, if I wanted to make that every single line I put into a, a spe specific sales order need to have a profit center, I could go on and do that. Again, very, very simple. You'd simply right click the profit center column and say, make this column mandatory. It will again open up our configuration. And in this case, it put in a new line saying that the profit center should be mandatory. We might uh, go on and change the description so it, it's more s saying in this case. So it could be profit center on line level. Again, we update the configuration, put in a new sales order, add a few items. In this case, I will put in the customer reference number already. So US 1001. But let's say I forget to put in the profit center, which we have now made mandatory. So if I try to add this, it will now say that the profit following fields are mandatory, profit center on line level. So that means I simply need to put in uh, some values for, for this. And let's say I only fill in for two of them. I'm missing the third one. Again, it will still say I need to have it on line level, meaning I need to have it on every single line. So now I have it on all three lines. And as expected, I'm now able to add the sales order. There might also be fields that is not uh, very easy to see what should be, uh, how, how could I make this mandatory. For example, the sales employee here. In, in, it was very easy to say if this had no value, the customer reference number was, ma was not the, the mandatory f data of that, was not filled. But in this case, I don't actually have an empty value or well, you can say that n you could you could go on and say that no sales employee is the empty value. So let me try to make this mandatory. Simply again right click and say make this field mandatory. The configuration come up. And you can see I have now sales employee as well. But please note that the empty value equals minus one. And that is because if I turn on system information and hover the mouse over sales employee, you can see in the lower left corner 
that no sales employee equals minus one. So that is the way you can make a, manda a field mandatory on that has values already. So let's update this. Let's just try to only put in a customer and some items and try to add and you'll see that all the three fields will now be mandatory and I of course need to put those in in order to see the new change. I could also go on in my configuration and have that I might want to have these three fields as mandatory but it should be as a warning only so it's only recommended to have these values. In order to do that I simply go on and say warning only and instead of having the, the bar down here, when I try to add, again, missing my three mandatory fields, I simply, if I press that, it will now come up with a message saying that, that the following fields are not set, but I have the option to continue anyway. If I say no, I don't continue, of course, but if I say yes, I'm allowed to go on. So all depending on what you need, uh, you can do this as well. Okay. The final uh, thing I will show you in this demonstration would be that we can also make it a visual representation of what is actually mandatory. So we have the option to give it a color. You can see we have a few colors here. And in this case, I would like to have that all the mandatory fields are, re are marked in red. So now I have set that configuration up. But in order to go on and, and see that configuration, I would actually need to close and reopen the window because this is a visual change. So I close the window, reopen it, and you can now see that the customer reference number, the sales employee, and the entire column of profit center is now marked in red. So I have a very easy way to see what is actually mandatory. I can of course go in and put in all the values. Put in the delivery date, add a few items, all with profit centers, like this, add my sales employee, and I'm able to add documents. So this concludes this overview of mandatory fields to basics. In the next uh, presentation, we will go on and see the more advanced stuff of what is in the mandatory fields. Uh, among other things, how to make the user-defined fields mandatory. If uh, you have more, uh, you have the wish to see more uh, training material, you should please go to the service.biomit.com portal, where you, under education, would be able to see uh, all our training sessions. If you wa have to want the option to go on and have a free demo of, uh, of the product, please go to license.biomit.com slash b1up in order to get a 20-day demo license. If you have any ways to contact us, you can do it either on the sales email or our support me email. Thank you for attending this session and uh, see you next time.